بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد whatever good that you do it's for your own soul and have them in fadl Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but again it's going back to the intention so as believers were ordered to purify our intention for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship him and him alone and rest assured that every single good deed that you do you'll find it with Allah meaning that Allah takes account of it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not uh, lose or or uh, make your deeds smaller but in fact Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is all aware of what you do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem in surah al-baqarah qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa aqimu salata wa atu zakata wa ma tuqaddimu li anfusikum min khairin tajiduhu tajiduhu 'inda Allah inna Allah bima ta'maluna basir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem He ordered us to establish the salat wa aqimu salat wa atu zakat and pay zakat so make sure you give your haq and all of that haq is a part of your good deeds all of those basic things the basic pillars of Islam are some of the greatest deeds you can do because they're the wajibat and they're from the arkan of Islam they're the the pillars of Islam and by fulfilling those pillars know for sure that Allah will not uh waste your deeds that your deeds you will be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your righteous deeds and especially during this holy month of Ram- Ramadan this is uh advice for myself and for you that to strive to do good deeds strive to make up for those shortcomings that you do all throughout the year and get the reward from Allah and it will not be wasted so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and establish the prayer pay the zakat and what you have put forth from yourselves from khair min khair you know those good deeds that you did you will find them with Allah and verily Allah is uh all aware and all seeing of what you do or Allah is uh, all seeing of what you do letting us know that none of our deeds will be wasted So during this holy month we should strive to do good. Again, being obedient to our parents. Uh paying sadaqa, you know, spending from our wealth freely be it in Allah. Watching our tongues and monitoring what 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 we harvest in our tongues, being cautious of cursing people and slandering people and backbiting people as those are major sins. So we should avoid those at all times, but especially during Ramadan. And strive your best to avoid witnessing the Muharram by for example excessive uh, by watching television and things like this. Anything that's going to uh entice you and and that you're going to see things which are prohibited. So strive your best during this holy month to gain benefit from it. Although we're almost halfway through with it, min fadl Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we want to benefit from this time. And we don't want to be those who at the end of our Ramadan all we got was a dry mouth, all we got was a hungry stomach. and no reward from Allah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that and bless us to be of those who do righteous deeds and whose deeds are accepted by him subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam